So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we've got these cameras moving around here. We're going to have a couple cameras moving around the crowd, kind of like a, uh, a documentary type of film uh, about this show and about these comics. Some of you guys know these comics. Some of you guys are going to see comics for the first time. I'm a comic. Some of you guys are seeing me for the first time. How's it going? I'm like the poor man's night rider. Instead of shit, I got shit. My car scares me. I get that's me, and that's my name misspelled on the wall of a comedy club in Washington. I started doing comedy in 1999, and it's been a crazy ride. I've gotten to play some great stages all over the country, toured, worked with some great comics, some legends, met some great people, but mostly, as a comedian, we grind. We try to build those shows. We try to make it to that point. Which brings us to this documentary. Every January, I decide on a project I want to do for the year. This year I wanted to make a movie. Based on my available resources, it would be no budget. Everything you see is borrowed and volunteered. The comics didn't get paid. The venue was donated. The cameras and crew were all from the Spike on the Mic show. Which brings us to the night before the show. Monday night. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to another award-deserving episode of The Spike on the Mic Show. That's Spike, and this is his crew. That's how I'm sticking. I got you. I got the way that you are sticking. Yep. We want we... PWs. How you doing, brother? How you doing? How you... How... How are you <laughs> this fine evening? How are you this fine evening? Okay. How you doing, brother? How are you this fine evening? Okay. I'm ready for pizza and pineapples. I don't know. I'm a little nervous right now, but uh, I'm thinking it's going to be a good show. So I, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm just a little bit, a little bit on the edge right now. Well, you better check the weather. Hey, Tony, about the show. I'm in. I'm down with the tone. Period. Hey, Tony, God. Hey, brother. I'm in. Totally in for this. Let's do it. Well, guys, it looks like all the comics are in. So we'll see you on the 23rd for a little pizza and pine. God damn it. Hey, it's Tone on the phone. Well, we're, uh... Checking out a location for the February 23rd taping. See how it goes. Well, it looks like we found the spot. Oh man, this is gonna be a great spot. Meet with production tonight, go over some pre production things, and uh, move on to the next step. Sound check. Just waiting on my driver to get here. The old, uh, the old number eight, I like to call them. All right. See you at the uh, setup. Beats and pineapples.
Heat, what's happening? Spike, Spike on the mic here, hollering at you live from in front of the Dubliner. Yes, yes. Check us out. I say the vibe is in the air now. I say the feelings in the air now. Okay, does anybody care about pizza in the pineapple? Pizza in the pineapple. I say the vibe is in the air now. I say the feelings in the air now. Okay, does anybody care about pizza in the pineapple? Pizza in the pineapple. Okay, the milkshakes bring the young niggas to the yard And young niggas brought Faze Jones to the yard And Faze Jones had to bring the squad to the yard Cause a real nigga party don't stop Okay, let's rock, rock, put it in a pot Whip it on the stove, then you serve it to the block Like a block, the nigga ain't no blocking us The young niggas finna rock it up And we mix it with a little denim, yeah For your skinny ass, coasted with the homies in a jag Where the pennies at, pretty women only wanna Paul Walker, I can shot the comments There it is, baby! Pizza pineapple! Ow! And blueberry! Blueberry! Let me get back to this party. These visions are getting gnarly. We getting louder than Harleys, and all of these people happy. And parents just keep on calling, and we just keep on ignoring. The only thing that we care about is us. I say the vibe is in the air now. I say the feelings in the air now. Okay, does anybody care about pizza in the pineapple? Pizza in the pineapple. I say the vibe is in the air now. I say the feelings in the air now. He's got a great ass. Yeah! Oh shit! How cool was that? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rafiq Shaheen and I am gonna be your host tonight. We are at the Pizza and Pineapple Shows. How you guys doing tonight? Yeah! We have a fantastic show prepared for you guys tonight. We have some amazing acts. We have the wonderfully talented Chris Madsen, Goldie, Tony God, and Sloan. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause. Put your hands together for the Dubliner tonight. Yeah. Without their support, we cannot do this show. And don't forget to tip your bar staff well. I'm a huge nerd. I'm super proud to admit it, as if you couldn't tell. <laughs> See, here's the thing, right? I know that's not a big thing to admit any more. You know, being in everybody's a nerd nowadays. You know, that's the reason why we have so many different types of nerds. You know, you still have your classics, you have your movie nerds, and your book nerds, and your music nerds, but now we have new types of nerds, like football nerds. And I know some of you don't believe me when I say that, but look at anyone who's into fantasy football. Fantasy football is Dungeons and Dragons with fewer dragons. And if you don't count prison sentences, fewer dungeons. Uh, thank you. See, I don't know, I like being a nerd though, because I'm curious about a lot of things. I like learning new things all the time. Like, did you guys hear that we recently just found out there's a 10th planet in our solar system? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? And they think yeah. it goes around our sun once every 15,000 years. That's a long ass time to wait for a birthday, isn't it? Right? <laughs> See, but the first question that went through my mind was as soon as I heard that was I was like, oh shit, does this change the dating game? I like being curious about questions that we don't really ask, you know? Like, by show of hands, how many people here own a smartphone? Yeah? All right. So here's a question to all you tech-savvy people out there. How smart does your smartphone have to be before it's considered slavery? Right? Like, if I say, hey Siri, fire up Pandora, and Siri goes, oh, sure thing, massa, is that the moment when I should feel uncomfortable, or does that come beforehand? <laughs> uh, I'm half black, so I can kind of get away with that joke. I used to be a stripper. It's like, great, now I'm having a homosexual panic attack.
You guys good? Yeah. Good. Anything today. I watched Hell's Kitchen all day today. That's it. Right? Gordon Ramsay? I fucking love that guy. So mean, though. I hope he's not like that all the time. I feel bad for his wife. Right? Especially in the bedroom. Whatever he eats, he'll critique. <laughs> this tastes like shit! <laughs> you serve that? Shut it down. <laughs> Too much cheese. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna lose you? Yeah? Alright. I recently got food poisoning. Uh, not from eating that. But I did get food poisoning from eating 10 month expired salad dressing. Uh, yeah, that's how I got sick. I should have known there was something wrong too, because when I opened the bottle, it fucking hissed at me. But I'm so dense the whole time, I was like, I didn't know they made carbonated salad dressing. This is amazing. Does Pepsi make this? They don't. Just to let you know. I'm a Bucks fan. Any Bucks fans in here? Oh, All right. Normally oh, that's a very muted response. <laughs> Being a Bucks fan is like getting caught masturbating. Uh, it's embarrassing, but you're still gonna do it. <laughs> I actually got to go to a Bucks game, which I thought was gonna be amazing. So I looked to my left, and my wife was there. I was like, God damn it! Thought I was gonna have a day. The whole game, she's like, oh my god, what is that? I'm like, it's cotton candy. Are you kidding me? If you find that fascinating, look at the field. Every 15 minutes, she's like, oh my god, football players' butts look so good in their uniforms. How am I supposed to concentrate on the game when she's telling me shit like that? I'm trying to watch my team convert a third down, all I can think is, she's right, number 89 has got a great ass. It's like, great, now I'm having a homosexual panic attack. Meanwhile, I'm yelling for that receiver to go deeper and faster. That's not why I want to go to the game at all. All these athletes are coming out of the closet now. I think that's pretty cool. First one to do it was Jason Collins, the NBA basketball player. Thought that was awesome until I found out he had a twin brother. Felt bad for that brother. As people say twins can feel each other's pain. That poor brother sitting at home watching TV like, I wonder what's, what the fuck was that? God damn it, Jason. Why'd you have to be a bottom dude? It's a bad coin flip. Take your time, man. It's coming back in waves. It's got to get back there. It's Christmas. I didn't know if you make out under a mistletoe, it's good luck for the rest of the year. I didn't know that. But if you make out under a camel toe, you're just licking an asshole. That's my time, guys. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Manson! Thanks for having me, Toby. Oh, thanks that shit was it. fun. Yeah. Great vibe. Couldn't hear much from the stage, but I uh, heard from everybody else they enjoyed it. So outdoor venue, the outdoor venue, man. The sound just drifts away into the ether. Yeah, it escapes. It esca now you've been doing you've been doing comedy for a little bit. Man. Eight years. Like, yeah. Eight years now, man. Yeah. I met you when I first started doing comedy. I know. Well, like probably yeah. first time at the Improv. You know, the big show. Oh yeah. The big room. We were just talking about the uh, little shows here, which is great. But new comic, man. You want to get on that main stage. You want to get in front of the. The 450 sold out crowd, the yeah. big names. That was huge. It was uh, Maria Bamford. That was I huge. remember yeah. you thought we were messing with you yeah. because when you went up, yep. the microphone wasn't on. Dead. <laughs> microphone was dead. I had to talk like I was on Letterman or something with my hands and nobody could hear me at all. <laughs> I thought about redoing everything that I had just said to because I wasn't convinced anybody heard me. I remember that, dude. That was brutal. Ian had to put the new mic in front of me, and I'm just standing by the handle. While you were on stage. While I was on stage, yeah. talking to 300 some odd people. But now, it man, huge. it's like, dude, you just own the stage now. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's yeah. fun, dude. Just go up and have fun. That's it. That's the key. Young comics. That is have fun. Have fun on stage, man. White people, I'm not going to offend y'all, so y'all can crack it up for me. I'm okay, okay, all right? Because I know y'all don't fight. For the one, the only, Goldie, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> nice show, man. To give it up, it's pizza. 
and pineapple. That's a, that's a hell of a damn mix, ain't it? I'm getting old. I can't eat no damn pizza and pineapple. That should give me a damn heartburn. You wake up about 11 o'clock in the, in the night. You ever ate that shit? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I can't breathe, but I can damn taste ravioli sauce coming out of me. Opening up for uh, Ricky Smiley, or now I'm opening up for doing doing my thing. I'm doing a lot in churches, so you know I do a lot of clean comedy. I didn't do no clean comedy tonight, so no. So, yeah, I just did my thing. I just did my thing tonight. It's bad for me because I, I I sleep with a damn uh, humidifier on my mouth. One of them little CPAPs. On anybody y'all sleep with them? It's funny too. It's terrible, but fellas, you can get used to it, especially when you want to argue with your lady. Shit. I put that damn mask on. Here go my lady. Oh, you just gonna put your little fireman mask on, huh? She get all upset with me and she go to laying on the hose. <laughs> Great time. Uh, just 12 years. 12 years. Flew by, brother. Just Flew by. Single. Yeah. It's like when you're in that, uh, that nice uh, Mercedes, you know, you just start off. You press on the gas pedal, you know, and then next thing you know, you're just zooming past cars like this. Yeah. You know, you're going 30, 40. Like, damn, I better slow down. You know what I mean? That's how that comedy thing is, man. It just seemed like yesterday I was in open mic, so, you know. Besides, you told me that in open mic. You know that. You remember that, Tony? Keep writing. Keep writing. You have to keep writing. And, and go to different rooms. See different people. Heck, I'm in a pub, man. I'm in an Irish pub. Would you ever think about that? An Irish pub. Can you do that? You got to come. That's the whole thing, right? Yeah, my goodness. It's good to have a good mentor in the game. Keep a good mentor. Somebody that you can talk to. I don't know, man. The person that inspired me was Robin Harris. Robin Harris. Right, the late, great Robin Harris. Harris. Uh, hey, base kids. Hey, base kids. He, uh, I heard one of his uh, comedy tapes, and a friend of mine gave it to me, and um, I took it, took it from that friend, and, and went home and let my mom listen to it, and my mom cried laughing, and um, I looked at that and I was like, wow, I really want to make my mom laugh like that all the time. So I started doing comedy, started doing comedy, but it really picked up when I was in college. I met a couple of people, and then um, I came back home after college and Tampa Improv. I did a, a couple of open mics, and uh, I think I was there, man. Yeah, it was there. Hey, 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 and I'm gonna tell you something, Tony. That's that's one of the best things that can ever happen to a open uh, to a young and up and coming comic is to do uh, the open mics. Do the open mics, man. Uh, stop all the curses. Stop all the, uh, the all the music and coming out. Just write. You can add all that stuff later, man. Add it later and listen, listen, listen to what somebody's trying to tell you. All right, always do that. Listen, because you don't have an answer. You don't have an answer. Always keep your integrity in this game as well. Keep your integrity. All right, because that's all you have in this thing. But, Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Sloan, ladies and gentlemen. And <laughs> hey, give it up for everybody you've seen tonight. Come on, y'all. This is fucking awesome. Give it up, y'all. Make some noise. It takes a lot to get up here. It takes a lot. You think you can fucking do this shit? You got to have courage. You got to have cerebral palsy. You got to be able to get up here and do shit. I'm gonna get started in a minute, I'm just pushing. Okay. 
My name is William Sloan III. I go by my last name, Sloan, S-L-O-A-N. Easy name. People, for some reason, cannot fucking pronounce Sloan. Really? Roger? No. Sloan. Sla? No, bitch. Sloan. Shalom? No. Hello? No, bitch. Sloan. I'm a black man with an Irish name. Which means I run real fucking fast drunk. <laughs> Donald Trump! Are you doing Donald Trump? <laughs> Fuck around, he's gonna be the next president. Why you bullshitting? Remember six months ago? Oh, he's bullshitting, he's fucking around. That bitch gonna be in the White House. <laughs> Niggas gonna be back to Africa, Mexicans gonna build a boat. <laughs> I like how he answers everything with money. Mr. Trump, what do you think about the space program? Fuck it, I'm gonna build a planet. <laughs> you can't even fix that tumbleweed up in your head. How the fuck you go? This bitch got a billion dollars. And he got a beaver on his fucking head. No, and Hillary, you think he's gonna win, Hillary? No. <laughs> Has it been that bad for Barack? Come on. No. Did, did you like Barack? <laughs> now, now, you know. Every time a president's about to go out, it's like, oh, it was bad. No, you know, being the first black president, that shit was hard. People say, oh, he's gonna get assassinated. No, that's not the hardest thing. To me, being the first black president, can you imagine driving in the first black motorcade? You're driving, you're the Secret Service guy that got assigned to, to drive the first black family? You know how you take brothers and sisters somewhere they ain't never been? The guy got the earpiece in, they're going down Pennsylvania Avenue. Guy comes in, like, yeah, they wanna go back again. You're like, fuck. How many times must we go to Popeye's? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let me get some jelly. <laughs> What's the other reality show? Nanny 911 about whooping your kids? No, you don't need a nanny. You used to whoop your kids' ass. I got my butt whooped growing up. My mama didn't play whatever she could grab. Shoe, switch, transmission, whatever she could fucking grab. I got, one time I got hit with an extension cord. Mama came around like Zorro on my ass <laughs> with her curling eyes. I'm going around like rotisserie Negro. I'm like this bitch. Like this bitch gonna give me a perm. Thank you. Peace. Ladies and gentlemen, slow. Limbo Kings. Put your hands together for the one, the only, Tony God, ladies and gentlemen. Going for a feed right there, your host. Let him hear it. We're <laughs> so, worried about the wrong things, man. Especially during an election year. Distractions. We're distracted by things that aren't that important. People are still worried about what's going to happen if they legalize weed. I'll tell you what happened. Picnics will be back. <laughs> Picnics, patients, friendly faces, <laughs> pedestrians would be safe again. Even if you got hit by cars, not moving that fast, you just sitting on a hood. <laughs> People be doing the robot in the street again. You ever smoke some good shit? You do the robot. Oh shit, god damn. <laughs> Robots will be doing the people walk. That's some good shit. People walk, people walk, people walk. We're missing out on the people walk. Because of these damn distractions, man. Just gotta focus on better things. Do something you're passionate about in life, right? You guys doing things you're passionate about? Two people, all right. Shaping up. People are on track. That's it, man. You gotta do what you love. I love doing comedy. I love being a comedian, you know. I've always, I've always, I wasn't born a comic, you know. I wasn't born with a microphone. I was born with a cord. <laughs> That's stupid. That's a stupid. Thing. But you gotta hustle, you know. Two days out of high school, I was in the U.S. Army. Three months later, I was kicked out of the U.S. Army. <laughs> Ninety days is all it took for me to be all I was going to be. <laughs> Time to be something else. <laughs> I went to college. 
I didn't graduate, but I got the loans to prove I was there. I call those loans my adult continuing education. You learn at your own pace. If you're a slow learner, you can explore compound interest, late fees, the IRS mentoring program. They call you up every day just to see how you're doing. I spent 20 grand to find out I don't like homework. <laughs> I am not that good at hacking. Okay, you want a number three combo? <laughs> hey, I'm Tony Gall. That's my time. Thank you, guys. Enjoy the rest of the show. In the air now. Okay, the feelings in the air now. Okay, does anybody care about peace and the peace and the Okay, y'all wake up on a Friday, get a call from the crew, so now I'm heading out the driveway. For the break of the rules, yeah, it's Macabish, and you know we about to get it with Faze, Jones, and Lars, and you know we about to kill them, yeah. Yeah. Performing on the stage, everybody know we got I say the vibe is in the air now I say the feelings in the air now Okay, does anybody care about pizza in the pineapple, pizza in the pineapple I say the vibe is in the air now I say the feelings in the air now Okay, does anybody care about pizza in the pineapple, pizza in the pineapple Okay, the milkshakes bring the young niggas to the yard And young niggas brought Faze Jones to the yard and Faze Jones had to bring the squad to the yard Cause a real nigga party don't stop Okay, let's rock, rock Put it in a pot Whip it on the stove Then you serve it to the block Like a blocker Nigga, ain't no blocking us The young niggas finna rock it up And we mix it with a little denim Yeah, for your skinny ass Coasted with the homies in a jag Where the pennies at Pretty women only wanna ask What's your Twitter ad, baby? Thank you, everybody. I'm Faze Jones that's why I DM. I'm Lars Darko. We Mac a vision. My verse was completely freestyle. I have a confession. I wanted to get real wild, but the stage didn't allow that, so. You sure that's what you want? Yep, I wanted to get two large pizzas. Nothing but pineapples. <laughs> <laughs>